Hi everyone, I'm Katie Scheuer and I started Project Spatial to increase your spatial impact. Now, I've been getting a ton of questions from different college students wondering a whole bunch of things from, do I need a master's degree in GIS and how do I get a job and you know, what really is the industry like out there? And so I figured I would kind of address some of these questions that I get asked most often and give you my perspective and my opinion on what I think you should be focusing on in college to get the GIS job that you are looking for. So grab some coffee and come hang out with me. And if you like this video or wanna see more videos like college related, job related videos, um, give this video a like and make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss anything else that I have. So the first question that I see a lot is, do I need a master's degree? And while I don't think anybody ever really needs to get a master's degree, unless you're going into becoming a professor or you're going into an extremely technical area where you are, you know, want to be in that upper level management, I don't think you necessarily need the master's degree because a lot of times you can exchange work experience for that master's degree experience um, and it kind of balances out and my preference is that you would have that work experience versus the master experience anyways um, so i don't think you really need it especially if you're going to be going into debt to get a master's degree i would say skip it and get into the industry because you might find a job where they actually pay for part of that master's degree and you don't have to go into debt and that's a much better situation for you to be in. So if you're not going to get a master's degree, what should you be focusing on? That's kind of the other question I get. So for a bachelor's degree, I think you should be focusing on something in the GIS realm especially if that's the title that you want in your position. So if you want some kind of very GIS focused position in the industry, then you definitely want to be focusing on a bachelor's degree in GIS or geography um, if you don't have a specific GIS degree within your, in your university. So along with different bachelor's degrees that are out there, I think there's kind of different areas of focus depending on what area of GIS that you want to be involved in. So I have a few of the main categories that I kind of consider and some of the outlines that I think you should have. So for a traditional GIS position, such as like a public sector position where you are in charge of everything potentially, you could be one of two people or the only person or of a small group that is doing everything from entire ESRI suite to getting people applications out into the field to entering data yourself, managing your databases yourself, that whole traditional suite, you definitely want to have a bachelor's degree for that in GIS or geography or something that's extremely close related in computer science. Um, that's something I think you just kind of need for the public sector because you really want to have a comprehension of the entire ESRI enterprise and you want to be ESRI focused because almost every public sector out there is going to be using ESRI software. That's just where they targeted and that's typically what's being used. So for a DNR or environmental industry, you want to have some GIS knowledge for sure and you want to be utilizing GIS in your experimentations that you're doing for your degree. Um, but you also might want to focus on geology or earth sciences or biology or whatever part of the science that you're interested in that would lead you into an environmental position. Because having that environmental portion to your job, you're going to want to have that bachelor's degree in some kind of earth science or biology or something like that and then have a high emphasis of GIS. For business and retail, you're going to want to look at a um, business intelligence emphasis. So something where you wanna take business classes, marketing classes, 
um, something where you're figuring out what kind of business uses GIS has and using GIS to really emphasize business management, project management, those types of things. Um, for utilities and engineering, you're going to want to look at different engineering classes, either civil engineering or electrical engineering, something along those lines, um, and really understand how utilities work, how they are functioning, as well, whether that's in distribution or in transmission, and you want to have some background in that, um, which will really help you along in your GIS experience. And if you're going into any of those industries, having a GIS certificate is definitely going to put you ahead because that's what you're using for all of your modeling and um, furthering along into the industry. So if art and cartography are your jam, then you definitely want to focus on graphic design, data visualization, um, how to do web design, anything on that visual realm you definitely want to emphasize in because you'll probably be using a lot of your GIS to communicate to other people. So making sure that you understand the principles of design is going to take your cartography way to another level. So getting that extra art classes in there is definitely going to be important for you. And then if you are into aerial photography, LIDAR, remote sensing, um, all of that kind of stuff, focus on machine learning, some programming languages, because that's really popular in those industries right now. And then looking at getting maybe a pilot license so you can fly drones, um, or even if you're really like the video portion of it, looking at virtual reality, 3D editing, those kinds of things um, are going to give you kind of that leg up coming out of college. Now, with any of these industries, you want to make sure that you are looking at internships in a field that you are interested in. And if you can't find an internship that's advertised out there, start looking for people that are working and doing the job that you want to be doing when you get out of college and reach out to them and see if they maybe have some volunteer work that they, you can do or something like that. But when you do reach out to them, try to provide value first. When you lead with things that you can bring to the table and you're not just looking for a handout when you contact these people out of the blue, you're more likely to get a yes response and you're more likely to get somebody that's engaged in helping you get into the field and they're also going to be somebody that's really going to be willing to put their reputation on the line for you because they understand that you are a go-getter you are a person that they feel like they can represent and they feel like they can put their voice out for you so those are all my tips and tricks for today um, if you guys like this video you want to see more videos like this please give me a like or leave a comment down below with all of your other questions that you are trying to figure out and how to get into the GIS industry. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.